This thing's really dangerous. Good day, everyone. Now, I'm a big fan of YouTube blacksmiths. I would love to make a sword. However, I am not a blacksmith. I don't have a forge. I'm not set up for that. But early metal weaponry was actually made by casting. The Egyptians, the Celts, the Greeks, many civilizations made swords out of bronze by casting. Welcome to the Bronze Age. Let's make a bronze sword. Do I know how to make a sword? No. Is this a project I'm probably ready for? Absolutely not. Could this fail miserably? Very likely, yes. Am I gonna try it anyway? Yeah. When I watch people do stuff like this, they normally get out a sheet of paper and they draw a pattern. Let's draw a pattern. So we have a leaf-shaped template drawn out. It's just under two feet in length, which I guess is about a typical size for a bronze sword. I'm just kind of drawing loosely what I think looks good. I know the next step will be to turn this into a pattern for casting. So this is a piece of a fence. It's pretty thin, nice solid wood. I'm gonna put my pattern on here, cut it out, Try to turn it into a sword. I have no idea what I'm doing, but I know I'm doing it really, really well. So I thinned it down, tried to shape it a little bit. I'm not really satisfied with it, so I'm gonna do it again. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm just I'm gonna go back to the sander. Now I'm gonna attempt to bevel the edge, but I kinda wanna put a center line there so I know where the bevel's gonna be, so I know the right angles. I'm gonna try this little tool. I put nails in there, spaced apart evenly, so if I cock it to the side, that center nail should be right in the center and I can scratch a line right down the middle. Kind of works, it's fairly accurate, so. So we got our second pattern and it's starting to look a whole lot better than the first one. First one, crap. Second one, better. I think I'm gonna try just casting it with the handle and everything on there rather than peening on wood. I'm gonna attempt to cast a pommel on there. So I'm just gonna take some Sculpey clay, jam it on the wood and roast it over a burner to harden it. So I have the blade roughly cut out. I think this will work for a pattern. I'm hoping it will. Already getting fun. I've got a long skinny box made up here, clasps to keep everything locked in place. For this one, I'm gonna do a vertical pour, which means I pour on the top and it goes all the way down the blade. I may not be proficient, but at least I'm creative. 
So we've got our box completely enclosed. We're gonna get a clasp and a hole to pour the metal in when it's vertical. Now, ancient bronze swords are made out of an alloy of copper and tin. The hands are dirty. So that's the alloy I'm gonna try to make. For my source of copper, this, I think it's an old generator wheel. I figure out how to get it out though. Okay, so we got our copper. Tin is actually a fairly rare metal. I just bought that online. I have no idea how much metal this is gonna take. I'd rather have too much than too little. I've read that battlefield swords were about two pounds, so I'd like this to be, but I just have a feeling this is gonna be heavier than that. Tin bronze alloy is about 12% tin and 88% copper. There's a couple places where the sand pulled away. The top side, that looks like it has a pretty nice finish, but the bottom side's pretty crappy. I think I'll have to pack it harder. Let's try it again. Why? Why did this keep pulling away? It's pulling away along the edges. If any of you have solutions, I'm all ears. So I know it's not perfect in there, but any flaws I think I'll be able to grind out. of my life didn't have enough bronze so the good things about this where I actually had enough material for the cast it looks pretty good the color of the bronze is amazing I ended up putting five pounds in there this blade is just way too thick I need to thin it down let's try it again
it's seven pounds. If you look at the tip, it's so thick. And I think what happened was when I was pushing the sword in there, the tip was wiggling around and made a lot bigger cavity. So if I want that to look like a sword, I'm gonna have to do a lot of grinding. <laughs> it's so cool. You gotta be a big man to swing this one. Okay, let's see how much weight we can take off this. This is gonna take a while. I've been grinding on this for most of the day and it went from seven pounds down to 5.4 pounds right now. It's starting to feel a lot more like a sword, but it's still pretty heavy. Look how much the metal shrunk. It's amazing. One pound six ounces of bronze dust and that's just what I could sweep up. Holy crap, I can make something else out of this. I designed this little V in there because I thought it would look cool. Originally, I was gonna have a wood handle shape like that, but how am I supposed to get a file in there? So the rough profiling of the blade is done. Before I do any more grinding, I'm gonna do the next step, which is work hardening the edge. You take a hammer, you peen the edge, that makes the blade harder. What I think is happening is all the crystals in there from casting are every which way. They're all jumbled up, but when you peen it, they all lay down flat in an orientation, and that gives it strength. So when you go in and hit something, it breaks what it hits. So I need to address the hole in the pommel there on the metal shrinkage when I cast it. I'm gonna try to take one of these, what do you call this thing? Feather rings from casting. I'm gonna try to melt this with my TIG welder in the hole and fill it up. I'm pretty sure that's how the Romans did it. Now the reason I'm using this feathering instead of a TIG welding rod is because I know the alloy is gonna match the color of the sword. Well, there's the result of that. Let's see how that grinds up. Not too bad. So it's starting to feel better. But on the pommel here, I have like a little octagon shape. These sharp corners dig into my palm. So I'm gonna round those off with a file. into the spots like this, I think I'm just gonna have to hand sand it. I'm gonna try to fix this big ugly flaw in the blade. Well, that was a mess. on it. Next thing we got to do is put some wraps on the handle. I don't want it slipping out of my hand when it's soaked in the blood of my enemies. There's another thing I have no idea how to do.
think we need to test how it will perform in battle. It will cut. It will kill. How about that? I think this is one of the coolest things I've ever made. I'm now a bladesmith. It's my first bronze sword, but it won't be my last. It's still a heavy blade, but it's a cool blade. Maybe next episode we'll try to build an orc build enough to wield this thing. This was a ton of fun to make. I hope you come back and watch some more videos. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.